In Google Sheets, Smart Chips allow you to see a lot of information about either a file or a person just by holding your mouse over that chip. But now, with data extractions, you can actually extract some of the information right into your spreadsheet to then see more or work with information. You can pull out things like, when was this file created? When was it last modified? Things like that. For people chips, again, when you hover, you'll see information about people, but you can pull out some of that information as well. Let's take a look at how to create smart chips and then how to pull out this information. So to create a smart chip of a file, all you need to do is copy the URL for that file, and I'm going to paste it into a sheet. And then you'll see it says tab to replace with that smart chip. So I'll hit tab and now I get a smart chip. Other ways you can do that is by typing the at sign and then you can look through files to see if the file you want to make a smart chip for is there. This is usually only going to show your most recent files. So in some cases you need to go get the URL and paste it in like we did. You can also go to insert smart chips and choose file. And again, it will show you that same drop down menu there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab another URL here for a Google Doc, paste it in, and click on tab to turn it into a smart chip. Okay, so like I said, when you hold your mouse over a smart chip for a file, you'll see information about it. For example, who's the owner, if it was modified since you last saw it, things like that. Through data extractions, I can actually pull this out. So this option right here, clicking data extractions, is one way to do this. So when I click that, it's going to open up a sidebar for data extraction. You can also get to this by going to the data menu and choosing data extraction there. So it's first off saying, what am I extracting from? And in this case, I want to pull from the file chip in A3. And then it's going to ask me what I want to extract. So let me just extract all of these so you can see what they look like as I've done in the row above. And then where am I going to extract to? And my first one would be B3. So extract, and I'll get a pop-up saying, are you sure you want to do this? Verify that's right. Click on the check mark to actually pull in your data then, and you will see the information. So the things I can currently extract from a file are the file name, the MIME type, which is basically what kind of content it is. So this is showing me it's a Google Apps spreadsheet, the URL to it, when it was created, who last modified it, when it was last modified, and who the owner is. The cool thing about these extractions is if I select this file name one, you'll see it's basically a formula. So this is another way I can get two extractions. So if I want to get the file name from this in A4, but in B4 I can say equals and I can click on the cell with a chip and if I type dot I will see a list of things I can extract. I'm going to go ahead and select file name, that's what's in this column, hit enter and I will see my name. So because this is a formula I can copy it down similar to how I would copy down other formulas. So if I want all these extractions to go down my sheet I can just copy down click to confirm, and I have that. Oh, one more row. Copy down, confirm, and I have my information. So this is a pretty cool tool for pulling information out about a file. For people, it works similarly. When I want to create a people chip, I will type someone's email address. And if I want to turn it into a people chip, I will go to insert, smart chips, and say convert to people chip and then it becomes like this little card here. Similar to how I extracted data before, I can use data extraction in the right sidebar to pull this out. Data extraction button isn't available from the people card though so to open it up again I have to go to data, data extractions and then when I select the chip I want to extract from, it'll tell me what I can extract. All right, so in this case, I'm going to do name, location, and title. So we don't pull in that phone number, but phone number is also an option. And I'm going to extract it to B3. When I click extract, I confirm that, and I have that information. 
In this case, the NA is telling me there isn't any data on this contact to pull in there, so I get NA. Now, to keep the data updated, in the data extraction tool, there is actually a refresh and manage. So this is going to show you when the various content in here was updated. So if you want to make sure that this is actually accurate, you can go ahead and click on the refresh for these various items or click refresh all to refresh everything in your sheet so you know you have up-to-date data. In this sheet, I'm looking at the last modified time and this was not updated at 6.54 in the morning. Whenever I see a discrepancy in hours, I'm going to want to check the time zone on my sheet. To do that, I'll go to File, Settings, and I want to make sure the time zone is accurate for what I want to show. For me, I actually don't want Pacific, I want Eastern Time. And when I change it to Eastern Time and choose Save and Reload, I will see last modified time now correctly shows it was modified at 9.54 in the morning. Now what can you do with this information? Well, let's imagine you have a Google spreadsheet with a list of file chips for project files. And you want to know if these things are being updated regularly, for example. Well, if I pull in the date these were modified, then I can actually create a formula that checks to make sure it's been updated within the last seven days and give me true if it was or false if it wasn't. So the way I did that is I created a formula that's saying take the date last modified, which is B2, and add seven to it, so add seven days to it, and then that should be greater than or equal to day if it was modified in the last seven days. And then if I copy that formula down, I'll see that my file that was last modified six months ago or so shows up as false, but the rest of my files were modified within that time frame. I could also pull in who is modifying these. So if I notice a file hasn't been updated, I could reach out to the owner if I pull that or who modified it. I have all that information right here in my chips to reach out, get that update completed. And that is data extraction with smart chips.